Good morning, Sagittarius. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Cherry. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Sagittarius, this is going to be a love reading for, well, Sagittarius. So I'm going to be talking about you and your partner that you are thinking about. So if you do not have a partner, if you if you do not have a partner that you are thinking about, this could be an ex that uh, you say you're not thinking about, but you actually are thinking about. But either way, um, uh, yeah, let's do two more shuffles and then we'll get right into it. So this isn't going to resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, let's get right into it. So... Sagittarius, you you are coming out as the hermit, so you are listening to your intuition, and you are doing what's best for you. All right. You also in your emotions, you have the King of Cups reversed, so you are like letting go of the emotions, and you're just expressing yourself in, in an emotional way. Um, which is good because you're not holding back your emotions, but you also have this um, devil energy. It could be Capricorn. You do have Virgo, uh, the Hermit card, which is Virgo. Um, so you could have some Earth energy around you. Um, but either way, this is like a toxic connection. Like, um, but this is your desire. So you desire a toxic connection. So maybe, um, I don't know, maybe this person that you want is very toxic for you and you just desire them because they just give you exactly what you want. But whether or not you're actually listening to what, like this devil energy um, is up to you because you are listening to your intuition here. So I don't know if your intuition is telling you to go towards this devil energy. I don't know. But either way, or this Capricorn energy, however, whatever resonates better for you. It doesn't have to be the devil. It could just be a Capricorn. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, get more. All right, so this person isn't really wanting your partner or the other person involved isn't really wanting to offer a cup of love. They're kind of just like, like if they come forward, like it's not going to be like, they don't want to start anything new. They, they kind of, if they come forward to you, they just want to like have sex and leave. That's basically, it's like player energy. Um, it looks like there was a third party involved before they release themselves or they desire for you to release yourself or for someone to release themselves from a third party situation. This doesn't have to be you, but this is one of their desires. Um, maybe they feel like someone they're dealing with has a third party situation and they don't want to be a part of it. So they're either releasing themselves from it or they're just, you know, wanting someone to release themselves from someone else so they can go in and have a new start over there. But they don't want to have a new start with you, per se. This could be a Leo um, or a Capricorn. But either way, they just, I don't really see them wanting love. Like, they think they want love, but they don't want love. They just kind of want sex. Which is whatever, I guess, you know, to each their own. Um, yeah, there's in the future, there's no movement forward. It's kind of like a standstill. If you guys do get back together, there won't be any relationship. It's just going to be um, a one, t one night thing. Yeah, and there will be an ending to this pretty soon. Um, should I clarify anything? You have a lot of cancer cards here so i'm just gonna move that deck over here because i have two decks over here <laughs> um 
Yeah. Should I uh, should I clear clarify anything? Let's clarify this third party situation. Why does this person want a third party situation to go away? Or for someone to release themselves from a third party situation? All right. Um. Oh, if I didn't say so, all right. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising sign. All right. So. Um, da, 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 da. All right. Yeah, they're just waiting for a third party to end or for someone to release themselves from a third party situation. Uh, they aren't really thinking about this person. Like they're, they're not really thinking. They're only thinking about waiting and they, they aren't taking action. But they're waiting for their for this person to release something so they can just hop in yeah and they have their blind like you know their blindfold is off you know they see what they're doing they just they don't want a new start like they kind of just want what they want and that's it all right yeah, they don't want to celebrate or anything. So uh, let's uh, let's clarify this devil energy because it it is a toxic connection. But let's see like what it's clarified by because that may uh, change it a little bit. Um, and it's kind of emotional. I can feel you guys because now you you guys are kind of sad. Um, I can feel that energy. But, you know, it is what it is. Not everyone's going to resonate with this message. You know, some are... Oh! Okay, cards just dropped everywhere. Yeah, so I'm definitely really connected right now. Um, but, uh, yeah. Let's uh, shuffle one more time. And then we'll pull the card and see what it's clarified by. The Hanged Man Reverse. Yeah, so you're getting enlightened about this toxic connection. Maybe you didn't realize that it was a toxic connection before. But now you're seeing it for yourself. And you're like, wow. Yeah, that really was a toxic connection. Like, they're not even thinking about me. They're just waiting for this third party situation to end so they can hop in and do the same thing that they did to you um this could be a virgo capricorn cancer leo all all the signs are here except for air but there are a little bit of air elements here so you know to take that into consideration um but uh yeah let's uh I don't know, should I give you guys some advice cards? Yeah, yeah, let's give you guys some advice cards. Let's start with the chakra cards, and then we'll go to the Moonology deck. So what advice can we give Sagittarius? What advice can we give Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun? What advice can we give Sagittarius? What advice can we give Sagittarius? What advice? Whoop. Okay, so this card, um, I was shuffling, and I was like under the tarot deck, but this one wanted to come out. So the high priestess reverse. So you're definitely like, oh, why is my nose so itchy? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, and these ones just flew out. Okay, so you're definitely looking for like higher power to for things to be justified for you, and a lot of balance. Definitely could be dealing with a Libra for sure. Um, now that I say that, there's an air card here. So, <laughs> um, flexibility. You got flexibility and nurturing. So. Be flexible with your decisions 
or maybe you know that this person is very flexible with their words. So when this person like comes towards you, don't come at them with like hatred and stuff. Like just nurture the situation, you know, say it, tell it as it is, you know. If you don't want to, you know, be with this person, tell them that because uh, they're waiting for their, they're waiting to make their move so they can just jump on in, but they don't want a new start. They just kind of want to jump in and jump right back out. They got one foot in, one foot out. All right. So let's choose the Moonology deck. Yeah, and the connection was just very unbalanced, for sure. Connection was just very unbalanced and wasn't really suiting anyone's needs. Alright. I don't really have much space to shuffle. Which is weird, because usually I have tons of space. But, I don't know. Maybe I should move this deck over so I can shuffle. Uh, ba, 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 da, 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 da. All right, all right, all right. Hold, hold your vision and believe in the impossible. All right. So when you're holding your vision, so this could be the cross watcher watching, um, which is waiting for someone to release a third party situation so they can make their move um just hold on to your situation you know just keep on waiting you know don't try to jump into anything but if this is the um if this is sagittarius um coming forward then just hold on to your vision listen to your intuition and believe that anything can happen all right not everyone is going to resonate with this message. You know, some of you are going to go back to this person and some of you, you guys aren't going to get back together and you're just going to find, you know, someone new, possibly a cancer. There's a, I don't know, it's just right in the middle of the thing. So it's kind of really bright. So that's why I said cancer. Um, but either way, I hope you guys resonated with this message. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.